Transfer markings from your pattern pieces to your fabric pieces. We have used a combination of tailor's chalk and pins to mark the pocket placement. Sew a stay stitch on the corner of the pocket turn back. Clip the corner to enable the turn back to be folded. Clip points are indicated on your pattern piece. Use the dashed stitch line as a fold line. Turn back the edge with a double fold. This will create your pocket opening. Press into place. Sew a top stitch catching the folded back edge of your pocket opening. Fold the seam allowance of the remaining three sides of the pocket to the inside and press. Lay the pocket on the right side of the front pant leg. Match the pocket opening to the notches on the side seam. Match the corners of the pockets to the marking on the pant leg pin in place. Sew a top stitch close to the edge of the pocket. When you reach the corner, drop your needle down and pivot the fabric. With right sides facing, pin the front leg and back leg together. The pocket is sandwiched between the two layers. Starting at the waist, stitch the side seams together. When you get to the top of the pocket, keep stitching. However, ensure you don't catch the pocket opening. We have used a pin to move the pocket opening out of the way.
Once you have completed both pockets, continue with the leg construction. Please refer to your construction sheet. Once your leg construction is complete, it is time to add the waistband. Sew the ends of your waist band elastic together. Quarter using pins. This will mark your centre front, centre back and side seams. Sew the elastic to the top edge of the waistband. Stretch the elastic as you sew. Turn the top edge of the waist down to the inside of the pants to encase the elastic. Sew a top stitch with a twin needle on the bottom edge of the elastic. Stretch the elastic as you sew the top stitching. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe or join us on our socials at Stylark on Instagram or Stylark Sewing Patterns on Facebook.